good? Yeah, you want to say your, you want to say your real name? No. My dad helped me make a stencil, uh, like Thrasher magazine logo, and I'd take it with me all my little skate spots and do that and shit like that. But but it was like when I was 13, 1990, is when I really actually started doing graffiti. Like I made a name for myself and started out doing graffiti. After about a year or so of doing graffiti, I, I really, I, I really kind of like found this thing that really made sense for me, and I really, I really got into it heavily, like so much so it's where every, all my other interests just really kind of faded, faded away, and that became the sole kind of focus of all my free time. Zess is probably the perfect LA graffiti artist, you know what I mean? And this is a dude who, who's been heavy in the streets painting since the early mid 90s. He's the embodiment of that LA writer, you know, this guy who has like this really, really kind of like twisted, dark, aggressive style and, you know, goes to like great lengths and does like the most insane shit, climbs up the most retarded stuff just to like do something like get a tag. was that, Zess is that, Air was that. That type of graffiti is what LA graffiti is. Yeah, I think that LA is probably one of the first cities to be like really buff adamantly and vigilantly. If you paint something in LA, it lasts like a few weeks or a month. Like, like you're happy, you're stoked, whereas like guys who grew up, who grew up, grew up in graffiti, they would paint something that would last for 10, 10 years, 5 years, you know. You would have to climb and go somewhere where the people that are fucking graffiti want to be willing to go in order to get your name to stay up. And then living and painting in LA, like this was the scene that shaped me, made me, made me into the writer that I am. People go out and rob banks and hold people up because they, they gotta eat and they're trying to make money and get ahead, you know. People steal because they're hungry, you know what I mean? People sell drugs because they're trying to feed their family, you know. They take these risks, they risk their freedom, they risk their life, they risk whatever for a reward. Whereas graffiti, there's a huge risk, but there's no reward. So obviously there's gotta be something going on psychologically beneath the surface to motivate people to like go out and climb a bridge and risk falling and dying or go out and do a you know, crazy amount of graffiti in a city like Los Angeles where you can, you know, they'll send you to prison for five years or more for just painting your name on a wall. You know, obviously there's some real emotional and psychological motivation behind that. And I think for me personally, uh, sometimes you understand it, sometimes you just don't, but it always just makes sense. It, you know, for me, it's just, it's just a natural part of who I am. Is that cool?